sitting down here at the campground the and this is an eye and it after this hot humid day and the temperatures being up in the 90s we're getting some thunderstorms rolling through and uh, I've got a time-lapse video setting up right now so that we can catch can all the action and I'm only recording right now just so that we can possibly get a sound clip of the thunder when it rolls. And the thunder rolls. <laughs> <You weirdo. laughs> and you can see my time lapse camera sitting on the windshield of the van. There it is. Blowing in on us now. City. My baby. And if you get that reference, leave a comment in the comments section below. <laughs> <laughs> gals it is Canada Day on July 1st we celebrate Canada Day every year and this is Canada's 151st birthday since Confederation so I'm just on my way back down to the campground right now I got my dough and there seems to be there seems to be a steady flow of traffic heading uh, into St. Andrews and if you're not local to the area, St. Andrews kind of is the go-to place for Canada Day festivities. Now in St. Stephen we do have something, but it's generally fairly small in comparison to what uh, what St. Andrews does. So as we go as we're going down the highway, um, there's probably half a dozen or more vehicles ahead of me. There's two or three behind me, and uh, it just seems like a uh, pretty steady flow, which is kind of unusual for this road. Uh, any other time. I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but there's some traffic back there as well. So later on this evening, they will have Canada Day fireworks. We may take in the festivities as long as everyone's up to it, and uh, maybe I'll try and get some a video of that while we're down there. So I hope you guys have a great Canada Day. If you're watching this later, which you will be anyways, I hope you had a great Canada Day. Yep. 
So we are in St. Andrews at the festivities down here and there is a ton of people. But they do have a little bit of a car show so we're going to check out the cars here while we're down here. And it's in Grandpa Gray. It's that? Okay. An automatic. Now that's how you want to go camping. I like the interior on this one. But again, it's automatic. All these old people don't know how to drive stick. Don't be fooled, honey, it's just a Mustang. Yeah, I just said that. For any of you viewers who don't know, this truck right here, this is a 56 Mercury, and this was Dad's previous hot rod that he built probably about 15 years ago uh, before he got the 36 Dodge. So all the work that was done to this was done by Dad and his employees at the time, but it never had any of the chrome. It was all monochrome paint scheme, so red bumpers, red grill, and no badging on it. But, uh, I mean, as you can tell by the style of the wheels, it's kind of dating it by about 15 years or so. But nevertheless, my dad built this. And I spent one summer stripping the paint off the cab and, and burning my skin <laughs> with the stripper. But he did finally find an old Mercury pickup tailgate. And what makes this truck unique is because in Canada, if you were a Mercury dealer, you couldn't sell Ford pickups back in the day. So what they did was they rebadged the F100 and made it an M100 so that the Mercury dealers could have a truck to sell, an old farm truck. And it does, even though it is a Ford product, it does sport a small block Chevy under the hood. looking Z or Z depending on which side of the country you're on. Z. It's Canada Day. It's a Z28. Z. And what is that honey? A yeah. Z3? <laughs> it's a BMW. Oh. What year is it hun? Uh, Remember the story I told you? No. How you can tell? 69. Oh, the, the thing. fender came up and it went clear back and right. did the same thing in the back. Yeah. 68s didn't do that. Okay. Right? And 70s were the newer body style, like the black one up there, the yeah. black Z24. <laughs> yeah. Z! <laughs> A 
classic Ford Taurus, complete with tinted windows, rusted brakes, and... <laughs> There is our Canada Day experience in St. Andrews, 2018. Let's go home. Maybe we'll come back for the fireworks tonight. That was our little jaunt down into St. Andrews for Canada Day. Did I stutter that? No, but. For Canada Day, too many D's in there, 2018. It's always good to get down and see the goings on and see the commotion, but I'm glad to get out of the heat and out of the crowd. St. Andrews and I always knew St. Andrews was you know a little bit old school but I didn't think these things still existed. stop sign that apparently leads to nowhere. Now comes the task of trying to get out of St. Andrews and uh, we know that it's a task simply because there's only one street, one main drag that takes you uh, out of the town uh, and then it splits into two but it's going to be a bit. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of a special Canada Day upload and uh, I know that it's kind of apart from what I normally do, but sometimes you've got to step outside the box. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next upload.